Welcome. In front of me is an iPad from 2021, and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So, just before I get started, I'll quickly mention that those will be fairly simple, and you probably might know some of them already, so just putting that out there. So anyway, let's get straight to it. So number one, if you pull down your control center right here, uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of toggles, um, as you probably expect. Uh, but something that you might not know is you can actually hold some of those toggles. So as an example, if you hold brightness, um, it obviously gives you still the control for brightness, but it also gives you a couple additional toggles at the bottom. So we have uh, the system in, in polish for some reason. Um, so let me quickly change that. Not exactly sure why it's in a different language. And there we go. So going back to the brightness, if you hold it, as you can see, we have the dark mode, night shift, true tone. So you can basically disable them on the fly whenever you want. Um, and there was, oh, whatever. Um, additionally, things like, for instance, uh, the toggles right here. So you have, uh, I believe this is the mobile data, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uh, if you hold those, uh, just the engine all the square, it expands it and gives you things like also hotspot, airdrop, and so on. Now, also on top of that, if you hold those toggles, it gives you access to just the settings itself. So as you can see, here you will see all the connected devices. I believe if you wait long enough, it also shows you devices that would uh, appear here for you to pair. Uh, but additionally, you can quickly access settings, Bluetooth settings from here as well. Uh, additionally, Wi-Fi, same thing. It will show you all the Wi-Fi networks in the area and you can connect to them from here. Uh, so yeah, it gives you a nice you know, access to a lot of things just without actually needing to go into the settings. So anyway, now moving on and sticking still with the control center. If we go into the settings under the control center, you will find a lot of toggles here. Now, as you can see, these are the default ones that come basically enabled by default in here. Uh, but we have a plethora of other ones that you can add. Uh, one of them that, for instance, I find kind of useful is the screen recorder right here, which this is the only way for you to toggle screen recording. So when you add it, you will now have it accessible. But obviously you have uh, for more than just that to add. And additionally, these are all the default toggles. So if you install some kind of application that adds some kind of control center toggle, it will also appear at the bottom here. So you can add that as well if you want to have it. So anyway, moving on to the next thing, which I wanted to show you, it's going to be the functionality of uh, copy and paste, which seems a little bit simplistic to be honest, but uh, it does give a bit more than what the name would say. So anyway, uh, let's just I'm gonna showcase it, which is probably gonna be the best way. So number one, I'm gonna open up things like Notepad, just because it's a really good place to uh, put things in. There we go. So I opened one, I'm gonna also open Safari, just so I can search for something. So let's see. Let's search for C, why not? I agree. So there we go, as you can see, we have some search right here. So I'm gonna start off by capturing a screenshot. I'll show what I mean by that uh, in a second or why that actually is relevant. And additionally, I'm just gonna, let's go into images. And normally, uh, if you ever use Android or anything, you have to hold it, right? Then you select copy or save and so on, right? But here, just grab it, you can drag it over. And now we basically swipe to our other application, drop it, there you go. It's basically that easy. So now going, apparently I can't do it like that. So now going back to our screenshots, I'm gonna open up photos, there we go. Let's go to recent, there's my screenshot. And let's see if I can find the button here. Assuming this actually supports it. it. Looks like it actually might not support it, which isn't necessarily the nice thing. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go back to just the web browser. 
Uh, just to showcase the text, uh, it looks like it's lacking the uh, text selection from screenshots, which that's a little bit of a bummer. But as you can see, you can select text right here and then you can grab it. Hopefully, I can grab it. Oh, there we go. As you can see, I'm right now holding the text and I can swipe again to not that. So let's see, where's my notepad? There we go. You can drop it and there we go. So I just quickly showcase something else. Uh, maybe I just don't see the button, but as an example, if you have something like an iPhone, right? You capture a screenshot. It gives you the option to basically find text in, in here on a screenshot. Oh, let me just quickly actually open up something that I can showcase this better with. I guess that's good enough. So I'm just gonna capture that screenshot, navigate into photos, I can find it, there we go. Open it up. And here, as you can see, you have this tiny little icon. Now it's something that I don't actually see in here. Unless this is it. This actually might be it. Let me quickly check if that is correct. Yep, so there we go. I just couldn't see it. So as you can see, once you click on it, which is barely visible, it's weirdly semi-transparent, making it really hard to see. But once you click on it, as you can see, it selects basically everything that it can find on here. And you can actually select that text yourself. You can see, and you can also grab it the same way, not like that. It is sometimes wonky when it comes down to it, to be completely honest. There we go. And same as before, we can just switch to some other application, drop it in and voila. So it is quite simple. Uh, it does take a little bit of a learning curve just to get it going uh, when you're switching between apps and stuff like that um, and finding the buttons. But as you can see, once you figure it out, it works just fine. So anyway, moving on to the next option, it's gonna be the simple dark mode. So under the display and brightness, you will have the normal switch between light and dark, which you've probably already seen. It is shown to you uh, during the setup. What is not actually shown to you during the setup of the device is the automatic switch. This will basically switch from dark to, uh, to light mode, depending on what time of day it is. So during the daytime, it will be in light mode and during nighttime, it automatically switches to dark mode, which is a really nice feature. And uh, additionally, I mentioned not every phone has that, uh, at least for instance like Androids have dark modes and stuff like that, but for instance mine doesn't have that option, which I would really like to have. So anyway, now moving on to the last option, uh, it's going to be the widgets. Uh, as you can see, by default we have couple enabled just after you finish up the setup, uh, but you can actually add your own by simply holding on the screen and tapping on a plus right there. This will show you all the widgets that you have accessible right now, uh, plus uh, whatever applications that actually had their own widgets uh, will also appear right here. So if you have more, uh, if you install some kind of application with them, uh, you can find them here. So anyway, I'm just gonna pick one widget right here. There we go, good enough. And there we go. So anyway, this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I want to show you. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.